At a sports centre in Liverpool today, queues as people took advantage of the chance to get a COVID test, even if they don't have symptoms. If you can be symptom free and still positive, you're going to go about your business and spread it, aren't you? So the more people that do it, the more people that will hopefully stay in if they're found positive. This is a service here for everybody. Everybody should use it, you know. That's my theory anyway. At the very front of the queue, 80-year-old Moira. I wasn't coming last night, but this morning somebody was on it and they said, even if you've got no symptoms, please come because we want a record. And I'm going to come in a fortnight's time. So you're, you're doing, doing the right thing? I think I'm doing the right thing. It's difficult. Before the testing centre opened, I was invited in to see how the new fast turnaround tests work. That's unpleasant, isn't it? Mm, yeah. <laughs> After swabbing myself, I hand it to a soldier for processing. It's estimated that about 80% of people who have the virus are asymptomatic. So if we identify people uh, who have the virus and uh, would then self-isolate. It's going to stop the spread of the virus, so it's crucial that we use this tool. But some experts are warning that this can only be part of the solution. This is just an additional step, and we make progress usually in healthcare by making multiple steps. There are no magic bullets that we have to solve this in one go. This robotics business, though, hopes mass testing will help the economy to recover. We've been really lucky that we've been able to continue to trade, but there's lots of businesses who haven't been able to do that. And, and this testing will enable them to give them the information to help them get back to trading and get people back to work um, and support their staff to ensure that they remain safe and well. So I'm just writing my script and I've had a text through from the NHS. My coronavirus test result is negative. Well, there's a relief. Moira and everyone else in today's queue will soon get their test results too. And if this trial is successful, it could eventually be rolled out nationwide. Tom Barton, 5 News, Liverpool.